So with the new war bond coming out, I figured I'd post the most updated super credit farm you can use to buy the new war bond in just over an hour, as well as the best way to farm metals right now, that way you can level up your war bonds once they come out. Now the method I'm sharing, I'm able to net 30 super credits every two minutes, which is 900 super credits in an hour. But even better yet, it's possible that using this method, you could get up to 40 super credits in about two minutes. Now you can do this solo, but this is best in duos because of of these bunkers which require two players to open but you can actually find the spots without using this bunker you can just find those doors which have super credits behind them and if you're lucky enough even the game will glitch out sometimes and give you 100 super credits so that can help out and make the farm even faster so basically what you want to do is load into any level one mission map and hunt down minor points of interest now you will be running around a little aimlessly here what i do is wear the light medic armor and bring a scorcher with me and when i run out of stamina i shoot my feet and stem so that way I can just keep running around the map a little bit faster and I also bring the supply pack so that I never run out of stems or grenades while farming. Now while you're on this map you basically just want to loot all the points of interest since this is a small map they're not hard to find you should be able to find a minimum of six or seven points of interest but sometimes you can get up to 10. And you're gonna have to keep doing this. What we are looking for is something very specific. We're looking for up to two or three points of interest that are very close together that have a collective 30 to 40 super credits that involves a very short run. That way you would be able to do this run in about two or three minutes. Now, like I said, we were very lucky and we found a single double door bunker with 30 credits in them. So we chose to farm this bunker since it's extremely fast to just drop in, open the door, and reset. Now here's the secret tech. Once you've collected your super credits, Alt F4 your game on PC and force close the map. On PlayStation, I'm sure there's a way to return to the main menu or swap to your profile or something and basically uh, force close the game. And if anyone on PlayStation in the, in the description knows how to do this, please comment it down below just in case there's someone on PlayStation who doesn't know how to force close their game. Now this is important because if you simply return to the lobby, then this mission will go away and you would have to pick a new one. But we're basically abusing an, uh, an unintended feature because if your game were to crash, which is what the game assumes is happening when you force close it, it basically saves your mission. Think about it like this. If you were in the middle of an operation on the second or the third mission, and you were to quit back to the lobby, that would fail the operation for you. But since your game kind of thinks it's crashing by force closing, it essentially saves this map for you and you're able to just reset and go to the same exact spot where you found those 30 to 40 super credits and do this all over again. So it takes a little bit of hunting in the first couple missions, but once you find a spot, like I said, with 30 to 40 super credits, I was very lucky and we found this double door bunker so we could just drop right in and grab them and then force quit. And then you can basically do this farming method over and over and it becomes a lot faster of a way to farm for super credits. All right, so what about metals? Now, when it comes to farming metals, my personal plan when the war bond drops is spend all 250 of my metals instantly and then I will need to farm about 100 more to unlock the primary and sidearm on the third page instantly. And this is the method I'll be using the day the warbond drops to unlock everything. But if you need some help farming metals, then maybe take a look in the description at today's sponsor, Blazing Boost. Now, Blazing Boost provides the gaming community with professional services. In Helldivers 2, they offer currency farming, warbond leveling, and connecting you with a pro so you can understand and play the game at a higher level. They have over 34,000 reviews on Trustpilot and have been in the industry since 2012, and they have pro players available to play with you instantly. You can use code THICK8 to get 8% off of any of your orders, and I recommend clicking their link in the description if you're looking to level up your hell diving. So my method for farming metals is to go into Eradicate and Blitz missions on Helldive difficulty since these are the shortest missions with the biggest metal payout. And if you can find an operation with an Eradicate and a Blitz mission, that is actually an even bigger metal payout because the first mission will give eight and the second mission will give 11. Now, once again, this will go a lot faster with teammates, but you can do these solo. I have recordings of me doing both types of these missions solo. I'll maybe put links in the description to some unlisted runs just to show that it is possible, but I will be sharing with you guys the builds I use to do this solo. Now for the eradicate missions, I'm using the breaker incendiary, some stun grenades, some cluster bombs, a supply pack, 
an Eagle Airstrike, and the Expendable Anti-Tank. Now the Breaker Incendiary completely carries in these bug eradicate missions. I will say if you're playing solo to just back out of the one that spawns the non-stop green bio spewers, there's just so much spit and slow on that map. I don't know if I can even do that one solo. And the reason I'm using all Eagles is because this is a short mission. We don't really want to wait for cooldowns. So I just picked eight charges of Eagles to deal with massive hordes. And we're just gonna be using these back to back and not really use the rearm of anything. So we're really not gonna end up waiting for that cooldown. Now this is also nice because it's just a setup that avoids cooldown and it avoids that annoying orbital scatter modifier. And I use this build to actually clear two eradicate missions while I was recording this video, and this is a very solid setup. Now for the Blitz missions, I was using the Grenade Launcher, the Supply Pack, the Mech, and the Eagle Airstrike. What's kind of funny is I didn't even use my grenade launcher to close any bug holes. I just used my Eagle airstrike and a couple impact grenades. Since we do have uh, the supply pack, it may be actually smarter to run a gun that deals with chargers or bio titans like Quasar Cannon. We can kind of just use the supply pack to give ourselves impact grenades. And between those impact grenades with this, the supply pack, the Eagle airstrike, and the mech, we have plenty of ways to close bug holes. Now, like I said, these missions will give you eight medals and can be done in about 10 minutes solo, that would be 48 medals per hour. But if you also get two in the same mission, you could get an extra three medals on the second run. Now your best bet is to find a good squad you can and you can complete eradicate missions in about five minutes, as well as probably blitz missions in the same time if each of you can split off and close all the bug holes as fast as possible. You could easily look to earn 100 medals per hour. And this is by far the current best metal farm in my opinion. It's kind of the same as the original metal farming, but these are the shortest missions with the highest payout. And keep in mind, you don't actually have to extract to get your medals. If you end up dying while trying to do these eradicate missions or dying while trying to do the blitz mission in particular, there's no point in waiting for the pelican. Just end your own life on that last uh, life and you will get sent back to your ship even quicker and you still get the medals no matter what. Now, if you're trying to XP farm, then go ahead and extract. And if you actually do want to XP farm, so you want to go for the extraction, then make sure on the Blitz mission, you call in your mech at the last second to help protect you at the extraction. So I hope this video helps you guys out and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and spread my content to other Helldivers. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.